Hi, and welcome to Street Fit Spotlights. Today we're talking to Elaine Evans, a beauty and image consultant. Welcome, Elaine. Oh, thank you very much for having me on here. It's lovely. So tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, well, um, I actually um, try to bring out the best in people. It's about putting a spring back in their step. And um, I love to help people make the best of their looks, not just their skin, but also what they wear, colour and style. Great stuff. Do you have some examples? Yes, I do, actually. I mean, I can tell you a bit about the background to colour to start with, if that's OK with you. Absolutely. Um, this was actually the colour wheel was developed in 1903 by Albert Munsell. I hope you can see that well. Yeah. And um, if you're a printer, hairdresser, anybody to do with colour will know about this colour wheel. And, um, and certainly it's about the hair, skin and eye colour. And depending on what the colour is, is what suits you. So quick, um, just a quick sort of demonstration that I can do on here is, for instance, if I had silvery colour hair, with sort of bluish eyes. These are the sort of colours I would wear, but just to show you, they really don't suit me. Ah. Just to demonstrate that. But these are colours that do suit me because I've got reddish sort of colour in my hair and I've got green eyes. And so therefore these are the sort of colours that suit me much better. As you can see, the colours actually do bring out the colour in my hair, skin and eyes more. Some are better than others, but what I would do is actually demonstrate that in front of a mirror with someone and then put big scarves on, like they're called drapes, and then the colour sort of just jumps out. You know, people will actually see for themselves. They don't actually have to believe a word I say. And they'll either say, oh, that's lovely. And I look great in that. Or it'd be, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that's awesome. Particularly uh, as someone with silvery hair and blue eyes. <laughs> great. Um, yeah, we all, get, we all get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I actually started um, life working for Elizabeth Arden, actually, okay. a top brand of its day, um, along with Helena Rubinstein. And I started off in John Lewis Oxford Street. I then um, went to work in the salon in Bond Street. Um, Elizabeth Arden was known for the big red doors. So as soon as they opened, you never knew who was standing there. It was quite amazing, really an absolutely fantastic place to work um, and within six months of uh, working in the salon they actually asked me if I'd train as a beautician which I did and I trained in their factory in East Acton along with another girl and that's quite bizarre really because you'd never just two of you train ever now <laughs> so it was a great experience and um, during the lunch break the factory staff used to come and book appointments and we used to practice on them because obviously if you're going into such a high-end salon they're not going to let you loose on the rich and famous without knowing that you're actually good at what you do so that's basically what I did um, there and then uh, from there I, I've worked for myself and uh, you know doing beauty treatments at home and then in 2005 I trained with Color Me Beautiful so I can actually advise men and ladies on what to wear colour and style so not just looking at colour it's looking at your body shape and um, your personality and possibly the occasion that you may want to go to for instance say a wedding you know if you want to look your best for a wedding also, um, photographers, I work with them because, again, if you're spending £300 on headshots and photographs of your business, you want to look your best. Absolutely. So I can actually help people look their best in those photographs. And so um, I work for myself, I work from home and I can go and visit people 
and do you know the skincare and the image in people's home you know. sounds great and what can people expect to see on your pin board well certainly sort of uh, tips on uh, what to do um i've done some um, tips recently in networking events where i've actually shown a foot file and uh, it just shows people when they're in the shower just to use a foot file just to get the hard skin off their feet to prepare for the spring because obviously we're going to start getting warmer weather soon and some people will want to take their socks off. Absolutely. Sounds great. Looking forward to seeing it. So thank you very much, Elaine. Thank you. It's been lovely talking to you. You too. Take care.